Kafka. Um, but I did go in completely blind, so I didn't know what to expect. After looking at a few, like, runs and stuff, I definitely could have completed it quicker from just looking at just a few runs. I didn't use any beds hardly. And the beds are fucking godlike. They make you skip fuck lords. I thought they pushed you off. I thought they were trolls. Because, again, I was completely blind. But nope. They weren't. They're really fucking good. <laughs> uh, they can be risky, though. But, yeah. If I did my first run non-blind on it, it would have been a whole different story. Wesker. A lot of Weskers. No one's on gens, by the way. This is looking like a bad team. Oh, wait. Two people. Two, two people were. And now the third is. It's not too bad. I'm always the first on a gen, I feel like. I've got the highest progress. You know why I thought the child was trolling me all the time? Can you blame me though? I was blind, so I didn't know. And uh, when I did do, when I did jump on one of the beds, it made me fall really, really far. So, can you blame me? It's um, conditioning, isn't it? This guy needs to stop chasing this guy around this building. It's not looking good. He's gonna be like really far down in gens. This is actually a more efficient team than I thought. They started off quite slow, though. But this guy got pushed off the gen. He'd have rolled 75%, so... We're almost at one gem. The wine ball jump. Yeah, yeah, I did it eventually, yeah. We went through the whole thing. Um, but I started doing, like, some shortcuts near the end. Yeah, look, there's one gen left. This is this is why it can be like we're a more efficient team. Um, but it can be even faster because I saw the start was a bit slow. But th this is definitely definitely more up there. So golf clap. If only more survivors did this, so people could actually see the reality of uh, you know objective speeds. He even detached to another survivor. That's our first survivor we went against. We're taking too long. Do you have... That looked like he had... Um... That looked like he had... Uh... What's it called? I might be able to get a save here if I'm a bit sneaker. He might go after her. It's not going now. Whoa, that was lucky. Scared me with that. Nice hit. Waste of pallet. You fucked us. Yep. Cool. Why are you running that way? Why are you not using your viewpoints to see where the killer's coming from? Seven minutes is all I can spare. <sighs> we have third person view, man. We we should be taking advantage of it. She's going in like an enclosed area where she can't see anything. Like, why? Go go on the outsides. You could also see that I was getting chased with the indicator. So you knew someone were in chase. Weird. I should have just put the pallet down. It's just that um, I could see the distance. I probably could have made it without doing that. 
Might as well heal, man. I'm next to a god pilot. Fuck it, if he comes back, I'll go a god pilot. Oh, he has Slopper. Nice. Hmm. I'm not sure why I didn't keep going for man. Or maybe he is. Maybe that was a bit. I might need to commit to this. If it comes this way, he'll hear me. Well, I said nurses. Ah, oh, we're fine. Wait, this will give me a free escape, innit? it? Wait, I need to see where the exits are. One's there. It's quite far away. Is there not another? Oh, we've got another girl there. Hopefully I can show you what you're supposed to do to get a hook save here. This is how you do it. Though we are quite far away, so it might not be as easy, but let's see. So you walk to them. You make them hit you, and the other person needs to go for the save, if that's going to happen. There. There you go. That's how you do it. He did it exactly how you need to. He did it exactly what you need, that guy. I don't know where the exit thing is, though. Quite far. Where was it? Oh, it's there! Deej! No, it's Deej. I can dead hard. Unless I mistime it, which I have been for a while. Oh, I don't even need to. Yeah. But there you go. That's how, uh, that's how you do it. It's that easy. You just have one person hit, and then you grab when they run away. Boom. It's, it's, it's really that easy. He almost messed up by getting grabbed though, didn't he? He was really close to getting grabbed. You don't need to even bait grab. You, you just need to body block the killer. So, the, the, it doesn't matter now. These tactics don't even matter soon. Well, I guess they still will matter a bit end game, right? Um, so the hook's here, right? And the killer's here. You body block the killer into wanting to have to hit you, right? As the person's getting the save. Um, when he hits you, you will run away, and it gives this person a completely safe, free save. And it, it happens every single time, and that's only with two survivors. If three survivors go, it's even easier. Like, I taught you... I, I mainly play killer. Well, recently, not, not as much. When you give me builds, I do, but I, I've been playing a lot more survivor. But even though I, I play more, I've played more killer than survivor overall, I know this strategy... This really basic fucking strategy. Um, what other people who just main survivor and give their, their ideas on, you know, what would be better for the game and stuff, still don't even know this fucking basic strategy. It's fucking mad. But there you go. He, he showed it there, where he got hit. Ran away. Good. Don't fucking save when you get hit, you idiot. It's just... And then I went for the save. <coughs> Like, just, just remember this, right? If you're going to save someone...